Okay, friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and I'm so excited. My family is in town, and they wanted to come out to the park. Bonnie wants to do Dinosaur before it goes away. My mom loves the Festival of the Lion King show, and she wants to take Ariel for the first time, and I figured I'd make a video and share all of our experiences with you. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's. Let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day. Temperatures are in the low 90s. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for Ariel to see a lot of things that she's never done here before. And Bonnie get a chance to say goodbye to one of her favorite rides. On top of riding rides, I also got us a reservation at Tusker House, which is a character dining buffet. And my mom, Bonnie, and Ariel have never been. And I want to see what they think because it's kind of amazing. It's different food from the different regions of the park here at Animal Kingdom. And uh, it's not like your normal yeah, like Disney buffet. So I'm excited to take them there too. The best way to start the morning is my mom seeing Divine for the first time. Look at her. My mom's getting all the shots there. Look at her. <laughs> you ever see anything so divine? <laughs> divine is usually at the front of the park and just comes out for a stroll throughout the day. I'm glad my mom got to see her because I think it's just so cool. She loved it. She said she's a breath of fresh air. That's what my mom said. Here is a look at the wait times. Flight of Passage is 65 minutes. Cali River Rapids, uh, 40. Expedition Everest is 50 minutes. Dinosaur, 35. Seems like it's a pretty busy day. I mean, I feel like it's always busy during the day at Animal Kingdom, and then it gets definitely slower once it gets time to park close. Oh, Navi River, 50 minutes. Uh, might as well make our way down to Festival of the Lion King. Because it's so hot out, we're going to make sure to kind of take time to go in and go get some AC or cool off a little bit and try not to stay out of the sun. That's the best thing you can do about Animal Kingdom. Just kind of hop from building to building, especially on days like today. This is where we're going to eat later. I love this restaurant. I'm sure Ariel's going to love to see all the characters. But uh, first, uh, down to Festival of the Lion King. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? I can't wait to see my mom's Instagram dump from this vacation. And now, <laughs> we present the Festival of the Lion King. Hey, folks, how you doing? Don't worry, you're all funny to moments here. The show can begin. We can't have this celebration without you. <laughs> don't worry, friends. Festival of the Lion King was a good way to start off the day because it doesn't, you know, subject us to the heat outside. And plus we get to knock off one thing that my mom wants to do. And now I think we're going to go grab lunch at Tusker House and uh, continue the day from there. I still want to do Dinosaur because Bonnie really wants to ride it one more time. And we're contemplating, contemplating, thinking about uh, taking Ariel on Cali River Rapids. I don't know. She does like water rides, so I think that would be a fun thing to do. But that's going to be later on.
Tusker House Restaurant. It is a character buffet and it is $62 for adults and $40 for children, but it comes with a lot of really cool things and some house specialties, including tandoori chicken, uh, barberry marinated pork, and a lot of good food. And then they have a nice classic offerings. You can get chicken strips, corn dog nuggets, but I'm here for the desserts. They're so amazing. I have been to Tusker House before in the past, and I've done like full reviews. Today, I just want to hang out, you know, enjoy, you know, family time with my family, and I'll show you a little bit. Like, I can't wait to see Ariel, see the characters, and uh, I'm interested to see if my mom's gonna like curry. You know, she, she's a kind of a picky eater, and uh, you know, this restaurant's a little adventurous. But every time I go out and I do like food reviews and stuff like that, I always think of unique experiences that you could do in the park that I want to show my family. Uh, so this is definitely one of them. Like I said. I think I think they're gonna find it very adventurous and wild like the animal kingdom you guys ready for some good food oh, some yeah. characters go ahead straight on in straight on. jumbo travelers your adventurer awaits look at this buffet isn't it awesome in here oh we're gonna be sitting here wow look at this the dessert station there then they got all of the buffet line around us and then the characters will come up to the table this restaurant is also good for my mom because the tables there's sections where it's very close to the buffet so she can go up and she can get to the buffet easily and she can even stay in her wheelchair in some spots and kind of kind of notice that because a lot of times when you go to buffets it's hard for people in wheelchairs and ECBs to actually go up and go along the buffet line but there's so much space in here I'm excited to see what my mom thinks of the food here. They've got the tandoori chicken right here. Look at that. And then they've got, uh, I think this is the salmon. Oh yeah, look at the salmon. The way they got it cooked with all the vegetables adds lots of flavor to it. And then you just make your way down to the buffet. They got rotisserie pork, African meatballs, some knob bread. Mom, didn't you say you wanted to try some like Indian food and knob bread and stuff like that? There we go, and tandoori chicken. It's all here. They also have carrot ginger soup, spiced brocky, spiced brocky. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> and then they've got some cauliflower, some uh, red red, braised beef, some couscous. Over here you probably got, oh, the green curry shrimp, and then chicken curry, jasmine rice, chicken tenders, meatballs, macaroni and cheese, the little tiny potatoes. This is the kids section, but I'll probably get lots of food from here. And then they got corn and broccoli and a lot of other stuff too. So definitely a little bit of everything. My mom was just telling me the other day that she wanted to try like different types of food. And uh, I said, have you ever had curry before? And she's never had curry, right? No. So it's gonna be your first time trying curry. Did you buy? Oh, you did get some. You got some curry. She doesn't like spice though, and it's not too spicy. It's very mild, very, very mild, especially with the rice. Oh, the goose here. Hi, group. How are you? Hi. Say cheese, ma. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Thanks, goof. Aww. Oh, so sweet. Oh, she's so pretty. We're getting some good food, Daisy. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say hi. Go ahead. Aww. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> Aww, very nice. Tell her you love her. I do, I love you. You tell her you love her, Mom. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy said thanks. <laughs> I actually really love curry. And it all started for me in, at uh, Dishoom in London when I first had it for the first time. And now I get it anytime I get the chance. It seems like everyone's enjoying a lot of the food. And uh, I think Bonnie is on board with the uh, curry. But... My mom has resorted to grapes. <laughs> grapes and some of the ham. It looks like you made a ham sandwich. Yep. You did pretty good. 
There he is. Come on, get close. Oh, oh. Good job. Oh, give a nug a nug. Real nug a nug a. Say bye, Mickey. They love Say you. Thank you. <laughs> Look at her so excited. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to dive into the desserts. Look at this African malva bread pudding with blueberries and bananas. I wish you guys could smell how amazing that smells right now. We're definitely going to get some of that, but I want to show you all the little cakes and desserts that they have over here. They have a baby bee tart. A Fab Five Safari Brownie, Sunflower Mousse, Pineapple Tart, a Butterfly Cupcake, S'mores Bite. Look at these S'mores Bites. And then over there they have Zebra Cookies and Sugar Cookies. I'm going to get some Zebra Cookies and some S'mores Bites. Just look at the dessert plate. I ended up getting a little bit of everything, but doesn't it look just like a perfect Animal Kingdom sampler? I even tried to make a Hidden Mickey with the cookies and the S'mores Bites. I'm excited for the bread pudding, but the s'mores cookie looks good. And I'm not too sure if this is like a honey mousse or uh, maybe like a cheesecake bite. I know this is pineapple and this is sunflower, but I don't know what sunflower tastes like. I'm starting to think the sunflower is just the name because it's a sunflower. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's sticky. There it is. Kind of like caramel. Mm. I like it. I like that. Kind of like caramel, butterscotch. The blueberry bread pudding is probably the best dessert here. It's so good. The s'mores cookie, I mean the zebra cookie is pretty good though. I love the music in here too. Tusker house was amazing. Now I'm guarding the stroller while uh, Bonnie and my mom and Ariel are in the bathroom. But I'm taking advantage of this uh, fan here. Oh, dude. Well, I'm glad that doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's a, but it's actually really helpful. It actually feels really good. You get a little mist. It's not working. I might have found one of the most peaceful spots in all of Animal Kingdom. Right next to Tusker House, they have this little area and you have a whole bunch of festival, the Lion King, like posters on the walls. And over here's the restroom and it's just so quiet. And like this is the area right over here. You can see uh, restrooms this way. This is all the stroller parking. Man, I should hang out here more often. This is nice. When you come to the parks a lot, you start to find little places and areas and nooks that you like to just go hang out and just relax and chill. And it's really awesome. You know what I mean? Because like a lot of times when you normally come on vacation, uh, you have this like sense of urgency. You got to get everything done. But when you get to come as much as you want, because, you know, I live here and I live really close, you just stop and you take in the areas and you find little quiet spots like this where... The birds are chirping along with my voice, and that's all I can hear. I also like how you can just like take the time to pay attention to the little advertisements on the wall, like this uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris ad. It's kind of like for the tourists, if you want to go on a safari, they got a flat to let one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, and then you can see all the different, like the detail, I, like I love it so much, everything. Oh, right over here, bachelor to let, one bedroom offered for rent immediately, secure garden flat. Like all this stuff is just so cool. And they honestly, I think they must come and they have to put it back up or they replace them because some of them peeling off and you can see the old ones that used to be here that are basically almost gone. That's so awesome. Look, there's even like a whole entire list here. Somebody wrote that up and I just, uh, I gotta say, you gotta appreciate the little bit of the detail in Disney. Okay, well, enough of me rambling on about how I love the little details and things. I, I think we're going to start making our way maybe over Dino Land to Dino Land USA. I know Ariel wants to ride the prehistoric spin. Bonnie wants to do Dinosaur. My mom probably doesn't want to do any of those. But she's, you know, she's, a, she's here along for the ride. She's happy. She got to do Festival of the Lion King. 
They're turning this into an Encanto and Indiana Jones themed land, Ma. They're getting rid of the dinosaurs. Yeah. All of this is going to be a whole new land, but it's going to be Encanto and they're going to have an Encanto ride. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I was just here two weeks ago going over all of the big changes coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom, including the new uh, Tropical Americas where they're going to have the Encanto ride and Indiana Jones replacing Dinosaur. And uh, if you guys want to watch that video, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Today we're just hanging out, enjoying the park because, like I said, my, my sister wants to say goodbye to Dinosaur because she knows it's leaving. And my mom just loves coming to this park. She just, if she just does Festival of the Lion King, she'd be so happy. So our flying ride? This ride, Ariel? You want to go on this ride? This one? Yeah. yeah. That's the one. She loves the, she loves the, uh, Spinning. Dino-rama prehistoric swirl. <laughs> oh, look, Chip and Dale are coming out. Oh. There's little dinosaurs. Look. Look. Look at Chip. Look, at look at that. And then goes Donda, Donda, Donda Esther Donald. There goes Donald. <laughs> Ma, did you even know you were walking side by side with greatness? The carousel that's replacing this ride is going to be all different uh, animal or Disney animals. And it's going to be cool. I saw a uh, concept art and they actually showed one of the carousel like animals at D23. And it's going to be a nice ride. We gotta find our dino. Bonnie, that's seven. That's not our dino. We're six. That's six? All right. Maybe they think it was nine? Let's take five. You ready, Ariel? Yeah, we're gonna go up. These rides are also a real nice way to actually cool off and get some breeze. I'm bold. Oh, here we go! Woo! Hey, who's doing that? We bouncing? <laughs> Woo! Bring us up! Bring us up! Hi! Woo! I love the music too. <laughs> oh, I'm already cooled off. Harry, you want to ride again? Okay, <laughs> you want to ride again? <laughs> Ariel, you want to play some games? You want to play some games? Yeah? yeah? All right, let's go play some games. We might as well play some of the games because this is also going, like I said. Did you watch us? I put it together. Oh, uh, we were flying high. She had us at the top the whole time. To play the games, it's $6 a ticket, and it's one ticket per game. So I got four tickets for us to play the game together. All right, this is the one. Yeah. Who's collecting tickets here, are you? Yes. Four tickets. Okay, you ready? You got to shoot. Our prize will be the little Mickey or the little one? Oh, the Mickey or Minnie? That's nice. nice. Ah! Pink. Okay. <laughs> Grab it. Can we all play again for dinosaur? So we need 10 players for dinosaur. Um, big dinosaur. All right, now I think we're going to make our way over to get, oh, Bonnie wants to get a magnet, and uh, then we're going to go to dinosaur. 
you know how some families have like that little competition where like the the mom or the father has like their kid always win and then they grow old and they find out oh you were letting me win the whole entire time that's not my mom she crushes me every time at any of these games and she does it she's like <laughs> she's so happy and she's really good my mom and Ariel are gonna hang out in Restaurantosaurus while me and Bonnie go uh, get that dino. Hang on to your butts. <laughs> this is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Aquanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Hydrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go. Four wheel drive. Move it. Keep moving. Warning. Meteor strike. Computer, now! That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Abort. Forget it! Get them out now! Dinosaur is such a great ride and I hope to one day take Bonnie to California and let her ride Indiana Jones She's afraid of taking that long of a flight, but I'm like promising her it's gonna be so worth it And if she doesn't then eventually she's gonna be able to ride Indiana Jones here at uh, Animal Kingdom Now we're gonna keep moving along and uh, see what else we can get done we were gonna make our way over to Cali River Rapids and me, Ariel, and Bonnie were gonna ride, but Expedition Everest is only a 10 minute wait. Yeah. 10 minutes for Everest and five for Cali River Rapids and the park's still open for at least a couple hours. So we're, we're just luckily here on a good day. There, I can hear Everest now. <laughs> gotta go get that Yeti after the dinosaur. Ariel, you, would you ride that ride? You wanna ride a roller coaster? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe not that one. Not that one. <laughs> All right, me and Bonnie are going to ride Expedition Everest, Mom. You and Ariel stay underneath this guy, and he'll protect you. He won't let anything happen to you. <laughs> Ma says she didn't want to sit underneath that scary man. <laughs> Look at him, though. So, yeah, instead, we'll just put you underneath these uh, masks right here. These, uh, these are perfect. <laughs> me and Bonnie rode single rider. <laughs> it was a 10 minute wait, but it was a zero minute wait for single rider, so we don't mind. <laughs>
on. Don't you love Expedition Everest? Yes, I do. You think once Ariel's uh, tall enough, she's gonna ride that ride? Oh yeah. I know. I think she's a thrill. She's a, a thrill seeker. Yep, I think so. What was that? She just gave me the dragon face. You can vlog. Go ahead. Say something. Say hi, hi people, friends. Hi, friends. Hey friends! <laughs> it has been a long day here at the park. I'm gonna ask my mom, Bonnie, and Ariel if they wanna uh, keep going or uh, call it a day and head home. I wouldn't mind going home, but I know they wanna ride as many rides as they can. They don't get to come as much as I you know, usually do. And uh, maybe we'll make our way over to Cali River Rapids. Ma, you wanna go home? Or do you guys wanna ride Cali River Rapids? Ariel, you want to ride a water ride? Yeah. yeah. All right. Ma, do you want to not ride a water ride? Yeah. Not want a water water ride? No water ride. Water water ride. A water ride. I don't want to ride a water ride. We didn't even know if Ariel was tall enough. Forty-two inches. Oh no! It's closed. Oh no! What time did the park close? I thought it closed at 7. Oh wait, unless this is the entrance. No, it's closed. Oh. Access denied. I'm sorry, Ariel. Time to go home. I guess sometimes they close uh, Cali River Rapids early. Uh, but we did promise Ariel a water ride, so we gotta do something. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, there's the water ride! Water ride! Water ride! <laughs> <laughs> Look, here, you can put your hand in it. in it. Go ahead, you can put your hand in it. <laughs> we left my mom sitting over here, and she's been watching, ready to videotape us actually come on that ride. Look at her. <laughs> You're waiting to get the shot, Ma? The ride's closed. Ah! We thought the park was open till 7. They didn't close the ride early. They just closed it on time. I can't even believe it. We were walking around this whole time, and the park's been closed. <laughs> Here, get in your seat. We'll make our own water ride. Ah, oh, there's a water ride. Oh, look at the turtle moving. I've never seen a turtle move that fast. Jump that? That's another turtle. That is another turtle. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a rock. Do you see all the turtles? Oh, there's another one down there too. That's the magic of Animal Kingdom. Whoa, and look at that bird. And with that, I think we are done here today. We couldn't ride Cali River Rapids, but we did get a lot done that everybody wanted to do. And uh, we had fun. It's the most important thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Ariel's gonna give Gracie a treat. Come on, you can give it to her. There you go. And just hold it out like that. So precious. <laughs> yeah, do you like that, Gracie? Oh yeah, a little cookie from Ariel? She's the best, isn't she?